You can get all your Marvel goodies at Big Bad Toy Store. Check them out at the link in the description. Dragon Ball, Pokemon, Kaiju, and more. It's Steven's Toy Reviews. Hey there, Collector. It's going to be Steven here, and welcome to my first fully 100% review. Shot, recorded, all of that fun stuff in 2023. 100% of it. Today we have a look at the SH Figure Arts Venom from Venom. Let there be carnage. Is there a difference in Venom's design from the Venom proper name movie and Let There Be Carnage? Drop in the comments below. I'm a little curious. But anyway, we have the Lethal Protector who popped into the MCU for a little bit. And now he's back into his home universe. Never to be seen again. Don't know. We're supposed to have Venom 3 with Toxin. Ho, ho, ho. Who knows? But anyway, we have Venom here. Everyone's favorite symbiote. <laughs> in SH Figure Arts format and it is long overdue. We have Carnage joining a little later this year in late spring, who is currently available for pre-order premium Bandai release, but the fine folks at Bandai Collectibles do have that available at general retail in the US, so you can definitely lock your order in. Now with that being said, both of these bad boys are gonna be over $100. We're taking a look at Venom, so let's focus in on him. Let's take a look to see whether or not this giant parasite, parasite, is gonna be worth adding into your collection. So Mr. Sim here, uh, well, gotta be a little bit honest with you. I, well, I like this design, sorry. So I'm already a little biased off the top. The Marvel Legends version of this one, I really do like. It's probably one of my favorite figures. Uh, how many do I have? How many? T too many? Uh, okay, so, but that really isn't saying too much. When it comes to the looks department for this particular figure, initially when it was revealed, I was a little eh, iffy. I'm not one to say that articulation, uh, engineering, and the integration ruins a figure, but I really did feel like this figure looked a bit disjointed. And that was at the early prototype stage. Obviously, they're able to go back and refine a few things, push things together a bit better, Case in point, look at the original reveal for the SH Figure Arts Android 18. They had the arms flipped. The final product here, I think Venom looks solid. Mine has one quality control issue for the looks department. You've got three quality control issues on mine overall um, that you're probably not going to notice until you're right up on it looking at it. And even then, the folks who I've told it to, They've only noticed it once I've pointed it out and then they can't unsee it. So otherwise, for quality control for Venom, I think rather solid in terms of looks. Some find the, I guess you might say the lines, the lightning bolts on Venom, uh, they could have a better gradient and I will agree with that. However, in terms of prototype to final product, we are always going to have a step down in terms of quality. I think it is an acceptable and expected step down. What is not, however, is the right shoulder on mine. It's just an ever so off white to compare to the rest of the figure. Yeah, it's, it's, if the rest of the lines are going to be like a nice bright stark white, then that's going to be like an off sort of dark eggshell ish. So, yay. Now that you've seen it, you probably can't unsee it. But with that being said, you may note that there's a whole bunch of powder around the armpit of this venom. It, it was apparently just powder and I wiped it off and everything was fine. But otherwise, yeah, Venom looks really good. Uh, no real issues. The sculpt is fantastic. He's not a black color. He actually has a mix of a deep dark purple or blue, which is great when you look back to the designs in the comics, McFarlane design, um, the different shadings that we've had throughout the history. This section's gone on for too long. I think Venom looks really good. And to be honest with you, uh, I never get tired of this joke so yeah that's about it the lethal protectors articulation we're actually getting a look at one of the accessories here pretty cool is neat to say the least little weird uh and this is where some of the quality controls that i had remember i said we had three to talk about uh the articulation is pretty cool so what do we have well for the head let's go ahead and talk about it so if you are a fan of Marvel Legends, you may notice something familiar here. So the head plugs in on a peg, which will create a swivel at the neck, and then that is on a hinge. Then the neck plugs into the body on a ball joint. So, if you do not really understand this movement, right, 
this can get frustrating because by natural figure arts movement, like let's say the uh, swivel hinge combo or a ball joint movement for like, let's say Goku, your initial instinct may be to do that. But if you remember, right, let's get that peg back in, that you are not just simply rocking Venom's head like this at this point, but you are instead turning and moving and then you're rocking at the base, much better. The symbiotic tendrils. So there is a back plate for Venom, which on the sides, there's a little gap. You can just stick your nails in there and you pop them out. It just gets replaced with this. They have swivels where they plug into the base, hinges, and then swivels where they plug into the base tendrils. Then those go up, same sorts of things. So we have hinge one direction, which you can then swivel at the base to get them to hinge in another. Then these swivel, same movement here. Good movement. Very cool. Same up over here. Cool. Real quick for the neck though, one more time. The head is up about that far. Moves down about that far pretty much for all the different Head sculpts, we'll take a look at all of them in a minute. You notice I changed them out here. But with the neck joint, he can look down about that far and up about that far. So good, good range of movement. For the shoulders, we do have butterfly hinges, which are on ball joints. So butterfly ball joints, butterfly balls. And we can rock them around in pretty much any direction you would like. So good movement there. And then the shoulders actually do plug in on ball joints so we can spin the arms around. They're kind of hidden like Nappa, so you're going to think, oh, there's no hinge there. Nope. Venom can T-pose with no issues whatsoever. Dedicated bicep swivel. And then here's the cool part. We have an elbow swivel. So if you're an Ultraman fan, you know what you got going here. Then we have double hinges at the elbows. Then the wrists are going to be like these joints here, where there's going to be a peg that plugs into the forearm. So we do have a swivel there a hinge, and then the hands plug in on a peg as well. Go ahead and pop off, All right? So those swivel around. Now here's the first quality control issue that I had with Venom in terms of articulation. I could not get this elbow joint to go full relaxed. This sculpt of the forearm was actually underneath this portion of the hinge. Hmm. Heat and I was able to just fish it out. It wasn't a problem. Ab crunch, ball joint moves around. There may be a hinge under there that allows him to lurch a bit more forward. I'm not able to see. This is the last quality control that I had with Venom, the last quality control issue. Ball joint for the waist, listen. This is after about mm, three days with dish soap sitting there. This was deathly tight. I could not move that. Um, so if yours is tight, don't ham hand it. Don't force it. I have videos to help you out. So with that being said, Venom can lurch about that far forward, about that far back. He can twist and turn from side to side. Mine, unfortunately, is limited. And I can say there's a ball joint that sits right here that this abdomen piece sits on. Cool. Hips, the legs plug in on a ball joint that effectively acts as a swivel. And because Venom has cake, he can kick that far forward and that far back. So well-sculpted booty, and he can kick about that far to the side for the splits. Fantastic range of movement for the hips. Dedicated thigh swivels. Double hinge knees. Ankles, hinge forward and back. Swivel for where they plug into the lower portion of the leg and ankle rocker movement. So we have a swivel for the foot and then a toe hinge. All right, Venom, range of movement is amazing. Fantastic, love it. If you need a well-articulated Venom, I uh, don't have Mafex, but what else is better on the market? I don't know. I think this is a really good contender. Two big thumbs up. Accessories. 
Gotta love it. So Venom is going to, by default, come with splayed out hands. So he's going to come with fists and pointing fingers. He's also going to come with two extra head sculpts. You already saw one of them in the sections of the reviews. He's going to come with an alternate back piece with the extended tendrils, which you've already seen. And he's going to come with a floating headpiece when he emerges from Eddie, or in this case, any of the other figures that you have. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at those alternate headpieces first and foremost, where we're going to have one where the tongue is just kind of out and it's just kind of flailing around. And then we're going to have one where, um, you know, he says a certain uh, phrase at, at the end of the movie when he's holding Cletus. It's not a new thing YouTube introduced with the vulgar words. The YouTube creators channel kind of told us that a few months ago, so don't believe the hype. But anyway, you know what this head is kind of in reference to. He's roaring. He's eating somebody's head off. But nevertheless, it looks fine. The only issue is that you can see the seam at the bottom of the webbing for the mouths. Just something to keep in mind. For the tendrils on the back, we already pretty much took a look at them. We know how to swap them out. But just here's a quick look for that back panel by default out of the box where you're going to just slip your fingernail in and you can pop it out with no issue. It is so easy to do. It's so much easier than the spider mang figures as well. The floating symbiote head. You, you see what I'm doing here? You see, I'm, I'm clearly doing it on purpose. Yeah. Anyway, so neat trick with this one. You may think because it comes with its own support stand that you're going to put it like level don't it goes in at an angle which is really cool so the little support pedestal this actually works just fine with any normal size sh figure arts like think um an shf goku that works just fine again superhero goku it's a fine release and this faceplate is exactly the reason why it is also compatible with any of the tamashi stage act support arms so if you have a larger figure you want to do something comical Hidora here. You can do that as well. I will say that it seems to work with the already uh, pre-made hole for the support stand that comes with Venom. However, it is intended to go with the little goop explosion part at the end of the head sculpt. So something to keep in mind. You also only get one head sculpt with Venom with the closed mouth, no interchangeable parts. And that head sculpt is basically going to be the default head sculpt, but smaller. Otherwise, we get alternate hands, which are going to be fists, and Venom is pointing at someone like they're eating beans. That is about it for accessories, and I do have to say, quantity number, it's pretty small. But considering the size of the figure um, and what we get, it's a pretty rock-solid amount. I think it would be cool if we could have gotten, even if we didn't explicitly see what kind in this movie, if we could have gotten, let's say, some sort of chocolate or a chicken, Sonny and Cher would have been cool, even if we got one of them. Uh, notably, Cher, bad joke, I'm sorry. Uh, a bag of tater tots, uh, if we could have gotten a tire, that would have been neat. Um, or something else, just something a bit more comical on the nose, sort of like Scouter Vegeta crushing the Scouter. That would have been cool, because this Venom does lean into the comedy side more so. As I'm recording this, glow sticks. That's what he could have come with, glow sticks. That would have sealed the deal. But nevertheless, um, if you do need extra stands, which I think would have been cool because Spider-Man came with a whole bunch of them um, or effect parts. You know, I got videos to help you out. Size comparison time. Um, 10 pictures. I went overboard. You have 20 different figures. Uh, Venom is pretty beefy in terms of an SH figure arts. But if you do have a wide array of Marvel figures, then he is definitely going to be on the larger size of them. He's not necessarily super overly large, but he is going to be a big boy. So buy now, skip, or wait for a deal. To recap, mine had three quality control issues. We have the off-white right shoulder. We had the left elbow, which was eating up the left forearm a bit. And then the waist joint, which was super fatally tight. I can fix two out of those three things. And for me, it wasn't really that big of a deal. The big issue with a few collectors is going to be the price point north of $100 US MSRP. Uh, here's what I will say. Is this figure going to be worth that much? That's going to be up to you. What I'm going to say for this outro section is I really like this figure. I think that the articulation is great. I think it is improved from the early prototype pictures that we saw. And I think that the detailing is 
really, really good. The accessories fit the character, though admittedly we probably could have gotten some more. With inflation going on right now, be careful how you Google that, I think that uh, this could have definitely been more expensive. If you do pay full MSRP, congratulations, you're going to get a solid figure. It's going to be worth the full price? Eh. If you wait for a deal and it does happen to go on sale, well then guess what? You're still going to get a good figure for a more affordable price. If it happens to sell out and it hits the aftermarket and it shoots to the moon, well then you're still going to get a good figure, but you're going to pay more. So moral of the story is Venom's good. How much do you want to pay? Well, collectors, that brings us to the end of the video today, and I just wanted to take a second to thank you so much for watching. Now, you've heard a lot from me, I'd like to hear a little bit from you. Drop in the comments down below whether or not you liked it, you hated it, or maybe you were somewhere in between. I also want to take an extra second here for a nice, humongous thank you to all the patrons for SDR over the last month who have really helped the channel grow into what it can be today. So to all of you, two big thumbs up. Thank you very much. And now the end card should be popping up, which will give you a few clickable links, like maybe to subscribe or head on over to my Patreon, or some short URLs, like to my social media or to my Teespring store. There's also a video I hand selected for you, so if you want to watch another STR video, I hand selected some good content for you to watch, so definitely check out that video. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.